Welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for your amazing support. My channel is growing all because of you. I am sorry for taking so long to upload content, but my busy days have started. However, I will endeavor to write and upload as often as I can. Please be patient with me. I wish to send a huge shout out to my viewers and subscribers from these amazing countries, the Caribbean, all of Africa the land of my ancestors, the United States, Asia, the Middle East and other parts of the world. The comments are also very helpful and engaging. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also turn on your notification bell so that you will be alerted whenever I upload new content. Sister Sabella, what are we going to do now? We have been walking for so long and I am getting tired and hungry. I am sorry honey. I am not sure what to do right now. I know that you are hungry. But very soon I will get you something to eat. Just hold on a little longer please. Why did our parents have to leave us? I am not able to do fun things like other children and we have no one to help us. I know. But please stop crying. Please. It hurts my heart every time you cry. Please. Stay here okay? I am going to speak with the lady to see if there is anything that I can do for food or money. I am praying that she will help us. But I would like to use the bathroom. Okay let me have a talk with her. Good evening ma'am. My little sister and I have been roaming the streets for days now, and I was wondering if there is anything that you would like me to do and in return, you pay me so that we can get something to eat for the night. Young lady. Why are you on the street at this time? At the moment, we do not have anywhere to go. My mother died while giving birth to my sister and we do not know our father. I have been the one taking care of us ever since mommy passed away. Oh my. That is sad. Anyway, you may help me to clean and wash up and I will pay you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. My name is Gertrude. I am Isabella and my sister is Kate. Thank you Ms. Gertrude. At least my sister and I will be able to eat tonight. I am going to leave now. But, where are you going to go? It is very dark now, and it is not safe for you and your sister to be on the streets at this hour. Thank you for your concern, but I think we will be okay. No I will not allow you. I do not know you or anything, but you and your sister may spend the night in my house, and tomorrow we can plan better. Really, thank you. It is not much, but here is where you and your sister will spend the night. Please make use of everything that you see. I will see you in the morning. God made a way for us. Yes. I will be eating good food and sleep in a real bed. Yes honey. Now let me take you so that you can have a bath, eat and get some rest. But before that, we must pray. I want to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping me and my sister. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. I cannot believe this. Isabella. Please come here for a minute. Isabella. You cleaned. You never had to do that. You even made food. Yes, Miss Gertrude. It was not a problem. My sister and I are thankful for the hospitality. But we are getting ready to leave. You stay here with your sister. I will be going to the shop now. And change your clothes Tessie and your sisters too. Isabella is a wonderful girl and I love having her and her sister around. They have brought life to my home. I am the only one here. All my siblings and relatives are away, so I do not see anything wrong with helping them. Besides, it gets lonely at times. Are you okay? Have you eaten enough? Yes. I am full. Sister, I would like to go back to school. I know. When Miss Gertrude comes, I will have a talk with her and I am going to try and get a job to assist in the house. Okay, but I was wondering if I could get to go to a boarding school. That could be expensive. But I will do anything just to make sure you are successful. Good morning Isabella. 
I have decided to give you and your sister some assistance. Really? Thank you, Miss Gert. I will sponsor your sister's education to any school of her choice. I am going to send you to a gentleman. His name is Mr. Walter Welsh, my very good friend. He has offered to take you on as a trainee member of staff and from there, you can work your way up and maybe go back to school. You and your sister can stay at my house until you are able to stand on your feet. Miss Gert, I do not know what to say. Thank you. I am forever indebted to you. All I ask is that you and your sister remain close to each other. One more thing. As I told you previously, all of my family members are overseas. Some of them will be visiting soon, my brother will be staying with us and the others will go to my family house in Beverly Hills. Please make sure that the house is nice and clean for them. I will miss Gertrude. I am going out to my shop now. You will go to see Mr. Arthur by 8.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you Lord for helping my sister and I. Now, Kate will be able to attend boarding school, and I will start working soon. My dearest, sweet sister. I have great news for you. What is it, Sister Isabella? Well, Miss Gert has offered to sponsor your education to any level, and I will be going to get a job tomorrow. We will be allowed to send you to the boarding school of your choice and, once I get the job, I will assist with your education. Really, sister? I am so happy. I will make you proud. I promise. All I want is for you to go to school, study hard and do well. But Isabella, aren't you going to try and complete your education too? I will, my dear. But I need to see you settled before I will go back. But please, do not forget about us and where we are coming from. I will not forget, sister. I promise. I know how hard you have worked for us. We have spent nights on the streets, with no food, and I will not forget our struggles. Thank you. Well, we have a few things to take care of before we can send you off, but meanwhile, I am going to bed early because I need to prepare for the job tomorrow. I will make some arrangement with Miss Gert to keep an eye on you for me. No sister. Do not bother. I am 15 years old now and I am a big girl. I can take care of myself. Are you sure? Yes. I am sure. Okay. Let us go to bed then. Big Brother Andrew. How are you? I am doing well. I am just chilling a bit. The night is beautiful. By the way, do you remember that I will be visiting home soon? I remember, and I have been putting things in place for your visit. You know that I will not be home much, but I have a young lady who will be here to assist you. Young lady? Is she your helper or what? She is not my helper. But you will meet her when you get home. So what about the lady you wanted to marry? I will talk with you about that when I get home. I have spoken to our parents and they have decided that I am the only one who will be visiting for now. I will talk with you soon. I will be there in another five weeks. Good morning. My name is Walter Welsh. Are you the young lady that Gert told me about? Yes, sir. I am Isabella. Okay. I will be taking you on as one of my trainee staff. You will be assisting our members of staff to get various tasks done. I will be putting you on a six months probationary period, and at the end, we will decide whether to keep you or send you away. Also, at the end of the six months, I am suggesting that you enroll into a part-time program in an attempt to further your education. We will start you at the base for your salary. That is $2,500 every two weeks. Okay, sir. Thank you. I will do my best. I will need you to start working immediately. Your first assignment will be to rearrange my office. I will instruct you on what to do. This will be my first test to see how well you follow instructions. Please go over to the main office and the accountant so that they can get you into the system. Isabella's first impression on Mr. Welsh was impressive. He liked the fact that she was patient, respectful and was willing to follow instructions. Look at you. I have heard good things about you. Thank you. I made breakfast if you were hungry, and I am about to leave for work now. Wow. How do you do it? 
You are going to work but you still had time to make breakfast. Before my mom died, she trained me well Miss Gert. We were not wealthy but she instilled good values and qualities in me. Also, my sister gained admission to attend Hampton High boarding school, so she will be leaving us in a few weeks. That is awesome. We have lots of preparing to do. I am going to take her out today, so that we can celebrate. Miss Gertrude, you are spoiling her. You guys are my family now. I can afford to take care of you. One more thing. My brother will be here in another five weeks. That is the week after Kate leaves for school. We need to start preparing for him. Also, we need to start changing your wardrobe a little at a time. Okay, Miss Gertrude, but I am comfortable the way I am. However, I will think about what you have said. Good morning, Isabella. My name is Irma and I will be assisting you around the office. Please feel free to come to me whenever you need anything. Your workstation is to our right. Thank you. Isabella is doing well on the job. She appears to get along well with everyone on staff and the boss is quite impressed with her performance. I am finally going off to school. I do not know how to thank Miss Gert and my sister. Since you were born, we have never been separated from each other. Now you are going off to school. Please do not forget our bond. Do not forget where you are coming from. Do not forget all that you were taught. Choose your friends wisely, study hard and please call home regularly. In all you do, do not forget God. Do not forget how much he has done for us. Always be prayerful and be satisfied with whatever I give to you. Please make good choices and make us proud. Focus on your education and stay away from bad influence. Do not ever forget where you are coming from, or try to be who you are not. Let our struggles be your motivation to succeed. Thank you sister. I will. Let us go now. Miss Gert is waiting for us, and as soon as we drop you off, I will have to go to work. <laughs> Kate, you are killing me with all your stories. I am happy to hear that you are getting good grades and have made friends. But remember what I told you. Please choose your friends wisely. I will be coming to visit you very soon. Yes. I will send more money for you. I have to run now. Today will be a hectic day for me. Miss Gert's brother will be coming to visit. I am heading off to the airport now to get my brother. Please have everything ready, just as I told you, for him when we return. My brother can be difficult at times but you will be alright. But, bear with him, especially now that he is going through a rough time. I will drop him off first and then I will be heading back to the shop. Okay but Miss Gert, I have a question for you. I am happy to be here with you, but I have never heard you talking about God. Why did you bring that up now? Because it is important to me. Can we talk about this another time? I am going now. Lord, I wonder what happened. Please help me to reach her. You guys got in quite late last night. I tried to wait up, but I fell asleep. Yes. We chilled in my shop for a few hours. Just to catch up on old times. It has been a while since I saw my brother. But, where are you going so early? I am going to church. I forgot to tell you that I found one very close to home and I have started visiting. I prepared everything for you and your brother. Church. Okay. Enjoy church. Church was so good today. I am feeling so refreshed and renewed. I missed it here so much. I am home after so long. Who is that lady? And why is she dressed like that in these modern times? Wow! I missed home but I certainly do not miss that. Where are the beautiful women in my neighborhood? My last relationship certainly did not work out and I am ready to settle down. Hello sir. You must be Miss Gertrude's brother. Welcome home. Are you the Isabella? The lady my sister is talking about all the time? You are the charity case that my sister picked up from the streets? You are that ugly, old looking lady that I saw on the road? I wonder what my sister was thinking? 
She even brought your sister. But, please be advised that I am the one who owns this house, and I decide who stays and who goes. Sir, I am sorry that you feel that way. I promise that I will stay out of your way. May I get you anything, sir? I could not possibly eat from you. You are back. How was church? Church was so good. But, you do not look happy. Did anything happen? Is Kate okay? Everything is fine. I can see that you have finally met my brother Andrew. He is my elder brother and like I told you, he will be staying here for a while. He is practically the owner of this house. Yes, Miss Gertrude. I have met him. Isabella, I need you to stop calling me Miss Gertrude. We are practically the same age. Call me Gertrude, and remember that you are family now. Okay. But, my brother looked a bit annoyed when I passed him on the way down. Did you say or do anything to him? No, I did not. Are you sure everything is all right? I wonder what was all that about? Why was Mr. Andrew so harsh towards me? Is it because I am a nobody? It is so good to be home. But, I am disappointed Gertrude. Where did you get such a haggard looking lady from? I do not think I like having her here. Andrew, what are you saying? You have not even taken the time to get to know her. She is a lovely lady and she is respectful and honest. What is your problem? I do not like her, so you better do something about it soon. Brother stop this. I will not do anything, because she has not done anything to you. Well tell her to stay out of my way. Okay. I will talk with her. Good morning Mr. Andrew. I am going to work now, but I have made food for you and Gertrude. Please help yourself when you are ready. I do not want your food. Didn't my sister tell you that you are to stay away from me? Sir, I am not sure what I have done to you, but, when you are ready, please feel free to eat. Have a nice day. How are you doing today? And why are you looking so sad? I hope no one here is making you uncomfortable. I am fine. It is just that I am beginning to feel uncomfortable at Gertrude's house. Her brother does not like having me around. I am so sorry to hear this. Is there anything that I can do? Not now. Just be praying for me. Especially since my sister will be visiting soon. I do not want her to get into his way. Everything will be fine. But, we are fast approaching your evaluation period. I am not supposed to tell you, but I am giving you the heads up so that you can be prepared. Thank you so much. I will be ready. You have been such a great help to me. <laughs> Yes ma'am. I have been back in the country almost six months now. I am thinking about staying home. I am just going to continue my business from here. You know we are into trade between the Caribbean, all of Africa and other countries. People will always be in need of organic food, so one cannot lose when they invest heavily into food and agriculture. I am having fun man. Except for one country girl that my sister has here in the house. I cannot stand her. She literally irritates me. She is even so wholly righteous. Yeah. She is one of those Jesus people. But I am going to frustrate her until she leaves. I will do everything possible to make her leave. I even heard she has a sister. What does Gertrude take my house for? Melvin. I will talk with you soon man. I have to go now. Someone is at the door. What did I ever do to this man? Why would he talk about me like that? He does not even know me. I am only but a poor orphan who is trying to survive. So it was you banging down the door all this while? When are you leaving? I have told my sister that I do not want you here. You are not even attractive for me to look at. Stay out of my way. Do you hear me? Yes sir. Lord please help me. Mr. Andrew is making life so difficult for me. I have no idea what I have done to him. He just hates me for no reason. I am trying so hard to stay out of his way, but it is so difficult. He literally fills up the whole house. 
What will I do with my sister when she gets here? The door is open. Why are you crying? Nothing. What did my brother do this time? He embarrassed me today. He called me a country girl and wants to know when I am leaving. Gertrude, I have not saved up enough yet for my sister and I if I had, I would find us a place. I cannot stay here much longer. Your brother will not allow me to have some peace. Do not worry. I will have a talk with him. Besides, you cannot leave now. You are not stable enough as yet. And I will be traveling in five days and I need you to be here. So what will you do about the shop? I have already employed someone who will be working in my absence, and I will need you to stop by every now and then, just to make sure things are going well. Isabella, you are like a sister to me now and I will not allow my brother to mistreat you. Also, he has been going through a lot lately. Just before he came, his fiancée stole money that was meant to be used for his trade investment and ran off with his best friend. So he is really having a hard time. But I am not the reason for his problem. I am trying my best to be kind to him. Keep trying, and I promise that I will attend church with you when I return. You will. Okay, I will try. But you have not told me why you dislike church or talking about God. I will tell you soon. Good night. Good night. Something smells so good in here. I can bet it is Isabella's food. I am going to eat some diet before I go out. Mr. Andrew, why do you keep messing up everywhere? You do not clean up after yourself. Also, I thought you never liked my food. I did not touch your food. So what is that I smell on your breath? Do not forget that this is my house and I can do to you whatever I please. Since you are living here free of charge, the least you can do is to clean up after me. And what can you do if I eat your food? Nothing. If you do not like it, leave. Mr. Almighty Andrew, you do not have to steal your own food, sir. It is your food and your house. Have a great day. Gosh, she caught me. I am so ashamed of myself. It has been several days since Isabella's performance evaluation. She is nervous and will be meeting with the boss this morning. I am so nervous, but I am going to see my boss now. I hope I did well. Sir, you sent for me? Yes, Isabella. Please have a seat. I wish to inform you that you did well on your recent evaluation. As a result, we will retain you in my company. But before you take up your assignment, we will be sending you back to school. Really, sir? But, you will have to work and study. After your one year of study, you will be promoted to the position of junior accounting officer, and this comes with an apartment. Lord I thank you. Sir I do not know how to thank you. I did not do anything Isabella. You have earned it. You have worked hard and you have proven yourself worthy. You may go back to work now. I am so excited. I am going to become an accounting officer. I must pay my little sister an unexpected visit to tell her the good news. Yes. I will go this weekend. Why isn't Isabella home yet? It is getting late and she is not here. Where is she? Thank God I made it home. I am so hungry. I might as well go and cook some food. And why are you just coming home? My sister told you to take care of me. And if you are going to remain here, you must abide by the rules. On the contrary, Mr. Andrew, I am only doing this because of your sister. She helped me when I had nothing and I am grateful to her. But you, ever since you got here, you have been nothing but rude to me and for no reason. I know that my sister and I are poor, but I have my dignity, Mr. Andrew. And so what if I do not look like the other women you are exposed to, but I am comfortable with who I am. And at the right time, I will do whatever I need to do. You can either accept me for who I am, or go away. Also, if you must eat, go and cook it yourself. I have had enough of your disrespect. Did she just talk to me like that? I am hungry and Isabella's food smells so good. Should I take some of her food or go and apologize? 
Mr. Andrew, are you okay? No, I am hungry, and I cannot cook. <laughs> I am sorry for being so rude to you, but please give me food. I will give you food on one condition. Anything. That you will stop being disrespectful to me and we learn to live peacefully in this house until I am able to move out. Okay, can I eat now? <laughs> Thank you, Isabella, for taking care of me in my sister's absence. I was extremely rude to you and I am sorry. Is it because of my food why you are apologizing? Yes and no. But, last night, I really took some time to think about my actions towards you, and I am very ashamed of myself. I allowed the experiences of my failed relationship to get the best of me, and I took my frustration out on you. I have accepted your apology Mr. Andrew, but you need to start praying more. God can wipe away all your pain. I know. Anyway, I will be going to see my sister this weekend, and I am going to Bible study later this evening. May I come with you? If you do not mind, I would like to attend the Bible study with you. Also, may I please take, take you to see your sister? You want to do all these things? Yes. Thank you. I accept. Thank you. May I take you to work now? What are you up to Mr. Andrew? Please call me Andrew. Andrew attended prayer meeting with Isabella. He told her all about his failed relationship and how much he lost as a result. The pastor of the church spoke with Andrew and invited him to some one-on-one -on -one Bible study sessions. Andrew accepted. I am so excited to see my sister Kate. Let me go in and ask for her. Kate, who was the old-looking woman that was just here asking for you? She said she is your sister. Didn't you say that you were from a rich home? Of course I am from a rich home. She is one of our house workers. Maybe my parents sent her with money and other stuff. I was not even expecting her. Let me go and see her. I will meet up with you guys in the lunchroom. Remember that we are going out tonight. And please, hurry and send your helper away. She is looking so horrible. You bet. Kate, is this you? And what are you doing here dressed like that? Kate, it is me, your only sister. What happened to you? You have changed. Why did you come here without informing me? So I need your permission to visit you? After everything I have done for you and this is how you choose to repay me? I warned you before you left. I told you to be careful of your company, but obviously you have not listened. Look at how you are dressed. This was not what we agreed on, Kate. Why have you come here to embarrass me before my friends? Look at how old and poor you are looking. Kate you called me old and poor just because I came to see you. You are ashamed of me. After all the sacrifices I made for you. Have you forgotten how we started and how if it was not for Miss Gertrude you would not be here? You are insulting me before all these people. Pretending to be who you are not. Stop embarrassing me and go away. Do not come back here because I do not know you. Excuse me. <laughs> so this is how my only sister decides to repay me. She thinks I am looking old and ugly. She now throws poverty into my face. Not even a year and she has changed completely. With all the money and sacrifices that I have made, she now chose her high society friends over me. Kate, you have heard me deeply. You really have. Did you send that old woman away? Of course I did. You have not said a word on our way back. All you did was cry. What happened between you and Kate? Isabella, please tell me what happened. My sister chased me away. She was ashamed of me. She called me old, poor and ugly. And she chose her friends over me. Maybe she did it because of peer pressure. Who knows what she has been telling her friends. I am so hurt, Andrew. She is the only family I have. After our mother died, I raised her. I did everything for her. She spent sleepless nights roaming the streets because we had nowhere to go. I did any job just to make sure she eats, and this is the thanks I get. I am so sorry. 
I really do not know what to say. I am going to run your bath, make some tea for you and then you get some rest. I don't know if I can recover from this. How could I have done such a horrible thing to my sister? All because I wanted to fit in and be cool. I have been lying about who I am just to be accepted by my rich friends. Now I have chased my only sister away. Isabella, you have not left your room since the incident with your sister. I know that she has hurt you, but you have got to move on with your life. I do not want you to become more depressed than you already are. Remember that you will start your study soon and you will not do well like this. You still need to do this for your sister. She has to come back to you because you are all she has. Please allow me to take you out and spoil you a little. I would like to take you shopping and to get a makeover if you like. Please. The Lord is your strength. He will take care of you. Besides, I have not eaten good food in days. My cooking is horrible, at least you tasted it. <laughs> Does this mean that you will allow me to take you out? Okay. Andrew and Isabella had a great time together. Isabella got her makeover as promised. Andrew has been fighting his feelings for Isabella for so long, but cannot fight any longer. Andrew has found his wife, and he is not planning on losing her. Andrew and Isabella now attend church regularly. I cannot believe that all along my wife was in my house, right before my eyes. I was just too blind to see. Gertrude will be coming in a few days. Are you going to tell her that we have started dating? Yes. But I need to take him out tonight. Okay, but we need to be careful. Let us keep things pure until we decide the way forward. I am cool with that. Besides, you already live in my house and you are not going anywhere. But you were chasing me away not so long ago. Please do not remind me. I was such a fool. I love you very much, Isabella, and I am going to marry you. I do not think I can do without your food. I do not even eat outside anymore. Andrew took Isabella to dinner. He proposed to her, and she accepted. They informed their pastor about their plans to get married and Andrew is getting baptized in a few days. Sister, you have been so busy since you returned. I know, but I have been away from my business for too long, I have to catch up. But... Andrew, I have been observing you. You are looking a lot different and the same for Isabella. What is going on? Are you two dating or something? Yes. And I have asked her to marry me. What? No wonder you both look so different. Also, while you were away, I got baptized in Isabella and I are planning our wedding. My goodness. I do not know how to react. I think you should start going to church with us and start thinking about settling down. I know that you almost died from your last relationship. I also know that you blame God for what happened. But God has a reason for everything. Look at me. I never thought that I could recover. But with God and Isabella, I was able to do it. I now own a thriving business and I am earning more than I lost. I literally had a job experience and I believe God can do it for you too. Think about it. And you are welcome to attend church with Isabella and I on Sunday. Okay, brother. I am going home. Isabella and I have the wedding to plan. Gertrude started attending church with her brother and Isabella. She admired their relationship and now believes that God can restore what she has lost. Mr. Welsh, Gertrude's longtime friend has asked her out and she has accepted. Sister, I am sorry for disowning you the other day. I just wanted to impress my friends. I was foolish, sister. Please forgive me. Sister Kate, please. I am sorry. I tried to be who I am not. I ignored everything you taught me, sister. I miss you. So you lied to us. You made us believe that you were from a wealthy home. And that woman is actually your sister. Yes, she is and yes, I lied. But you know what? I do not want this friendship anymore. I allowed you guys to influence me wrongly, and now I am about to lose my only sister. I cannot lose her because she sacrificed a lot for me. 
So today, I choose my sister over all of you. And I am going back to being the Kate that my sister sent to school. I do not care if I am no longer your friend. I am proud of you. And I am sorry for everything. Thank you. We go home for a break in a few weeks and I need to make things right with my sister. Or else, I will not be able to forgive myself. It feels good to be out. Yes. And your sister? Have you told her about the wedding? She has been calling and apologizing. But I have not told her about the wedding. Babe, you need to forgive her. Remember that you are a Christian and God reminds us of how many times we are to forgive. Remember to is human but, to forgive is divine. She will be coming in a few weeks. We will be man and wife by then and I need you to rebuild the relationship with your sister. Okay. I will do as you have said. Will you still be taking the apartment from your job? No. I asked them to give it to Irma. Great. Because we do not need it. After our wedding, we will be moving into our brand new home. We have to give my sister space for her and your boss. I cannot believe that Gertrude is beginning to take church seriously. Yes. Now, let us go home. We have work tomorrow. Where will we spend our honeymoon? That one is surprise. Let us go. Sister Gertrude look at you. You are equally beautiful and my brother loves you. That day when I decided to help you, I had no idea that it was all a part of God's plan. He has used you to transform my entire family. I have never seen my brother like this. Thank you for being my sweet sister. But, remember our Bible study later and I will be doing some interviews today. I need someone who will be working in the restaurant. Okay. Finally. Now I can get all the food I want. <laughs> I have a secret. What is it? You will be my first. I have never been with a man before. Are you serious? In this day and age? Thank you Jesus for my wife. <laughs> have you considered my proposal Gertrude? Yes I have. I will. Great. I am going to leave now, but I will be back tomorrow. Welcome home, Kate. Sister Gertrude, where is my sister? I know that I have offended her and I really want to apologize. Isabella got married to my brother. She does not live here anymore. She got married without me? I am sorry, Kate. But you really hurt her. Go in and get some rest. Tomorrow you will see her. I have completed my house chores. I am going to do some reading and then pour my husband's dinner. Andrew has made me so happy. Who could that be? How did you find my house? What do you want? Didn't you disown me? Sister Sabella, I know that I have wronged you. I was ungrateful and I said lots of bad things to you. But please, I am your only sister. Didn't you remember that I was your only sister when you chased me away? I am sorry please Sister Sabella. I have learned a valuable lesson. I am proud of you my sweet sister. Look at how you turned out, you are now married, working and going back to school. You also live in an expensive house. Yes. Thank God. We are comfortable now and mom, God rest her soul, is happy for us. But, how you treated me at your school has motivated me to do better for myself. I was depressed for days, but God and Andrew were there for me. Andrew took me shopping and encouraged me to get a makeover. You are beautiful sister, but I do not care anymore how you are looking. I love you just the way you are. I have forgiven you, because you were my only sister, and there is nothing greater than a sister's love. But, do not allow what happened at your school to ever repeat itself. I promise, 